get that worm fly out of his mouth. There we go, look at that fish. Healthy little striped bass. All right, little buddy, thanks for stopping by. <laughs> Woo! On the worm fly, too. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cut some gurgler, uh, some gurgler bodies. Very simple, you just take the foam and we're just gonna cut a little strip, just like so. Try and cut it pretty straight as well. And you'll cut it a little extra long and I'll show you why here, but there we go. So what we're gonna do with this is we're going to fold this and make a gurgler popper body. And you can either use some saddle hackle for the throat or you can use some astaz. So we'll tie a couple different ones. All right, so there's some black rabbit strip here some zonker strip or just regular black rabbit strip. Um, you really don't need to use a uh, little mono loop to prevent fouling because we're only gonna be using a very small amount of uh, rabbit strip off the back here. So this fly is only gonna be about two inches long. All we do is we just tie that right off the back. Try and lay it flat here. Just like so. So just a little strip of rabbit off the back. That's really all you want. So just a little bit of red marabou. We're just gonna kind of tie it off the back here. Strip a little off here. It's gonna be a little tough silent one. To really, you know, to really get a good you know, a quality of ice, you generally, the least you're going to spend is maybe 80, 90 bucks, you know? So maybe just stick with what you got and just, you know, save some money or something. Or is your vice really like falling apart? Because you can get some cheaper vices, but they're probably going to be, you know, pretty similar. I don't know exactly which vice you have now, but. That's a, you know, it's a little tough. But you can certainly use a, start, a starter vise for a long time, you know? You don't necessarily have to, you know? And then when you're ready, you know, you can take the plunge and spend a little bit more money. All right, we're gonna get our uh, gurgler body here. And we wanna tie that on like first, we wanna tie it right back up to where the marabou was. And then I have some, uh, some black cactus chenille stuff here, which is what we're gonna use for the uh, throat. You don't wanna go too heavy with it. We just wanna get a little flash in there in the throat. Take a little super glue. Put that down so this stuff doesn't uh, come apart. And then we're just going to lightly throw this on there as a throat. So not a lot. Not a whole lot. Just a little bit, just to give it some color. And we wanna get a little gap in the back. Okay. You don't really want like a big lip, you really, kind of want a very subtle subtle sort of uh, lip to it 
because you don't want it to really pop you kind of want it to be a little bit more of like a slider you know you just want to kind of twitch it there on the surface and kind of fish it a little slower sometimes you can pop it and i've actually caught fish during these sorts of uh, worm hatches by popping the gurgler as well so popping it pretty hard and then letting it sit there and a lot of times i think they think maybe another striper tried to hit it and then missed it so they come in for it and you guys will be proud of me i actually bought real head cement oh my god <laughs> not uh not something uh from the right you know right age beauty sign collection There we go and this is my uh pretty much my little go-to uh cinderworm fly right here 